Welcome to Venice Day Off. Today I want to make an action camera chest mount that will suit my, my PFD or buoyancy aid. I have been using this uh, cheapo GoPro style chest mount with the elastic straps, but there are a number of problems with this. For one thing, when I'm wearing the PFD, this is stretched to the absolute limit. And if you can see these gaps, the elastic can be forced out and can pop out of there. Also, it's, it's stretched so much that it's, it's, it's awkward to get in and out of. And it gets in the way of my gear. This is how I have my PFD set up. I have my radio, a waterproof torch, and my safety knife, and my whistle. So it kind of gets in the way of those. So I tried to think of a better way to do this that would suit PFDs and perhaps waders or jackets even. One idea I had was that I would put a piece of wood and mount a, a GoPro mount on it in front, but that would look even more darky and crazy. But as I was looking at it, I said, what about if I get a, a thinner piece that would fit in here and clip on to the front? So that's what I'm going to try today. Now I've got this little, this is just a piece of scrap wood. It came from an old bed we were throwing out. And I have it uh, cut down and rounded off on the sander. So I reckon that would fit in here. So I just need to come up with a way to clip it and to mount the camera. Okay, so we put that to one side. So to attach it to the piece of wood, I've got a GoPro style uh, flat base mount with the 3M sticker. We're going to use that. And I'm going to use this j hook buckle to attach the action camera. So I'll stick this on first. So that's pretty centered. Turn it this way, I think, and we'll get it reasonably high. So let's center that. Now I'm sure these adhesives are, are um, quite strong and all that, but we're not going to completely trust this. So I'm going to put maybe a screw or two. I have some stainless steel screws and we're going to put them through from the back. So I'm going to, I'm going to pre-drill a hole for the screws, okay? So I want to get right in the middle here. I think we'll put, we'll put two screws for safety, all right? Just make our mark there, bang in the center, bang in the middle. And the same thing here. Okay. So we'll just take and drill that. do our second hole. Right. So now we have our pilot holes drilled and I have some stainless steel screws. Because we're going to use this in the sea, obviously we don't want it to rust. 
but I don't want them protruding out. So I'm going to measure this here with my calipers. Okay, so that's the depth. That's the depth and we'll knock a couple of mils off it. So we want our screws maybe that long. So we'll just mark that. So with a, with a bit of brute force and ignorance, I'm just going to use my little bolt cutters here. That's one. And that's two. Also, I'll just quickly countersink these from the back, just so the, the screws won't be sticking out. Gives them a little bit of a bit of a depression. Right, so here goes with the first cut one. Oopsie. And our second one. Okay, so, so that's not going anywhere, I guarantee you. We just see does our buckle fit nicely. And our buckle fits nicely. So now we need a clip on the back to make it work with our, our uh, life jacket, our buoyancy aid, or PFD if you will, whatever you're having, whatever you like to call it. Right. To make the clip to hold our mount uh, to the PFD, I'm going to use some PVC piping. That that material beloved of all bodgers, eh? So I've already taken the liberty of cutting a strip of it here. Um, this is about 17 or 18 centimeters by one, I by one centimeter wide. I reckon I'll need about that much. So I'm going to take my heat gun and heat this up. Now obviously there is some risk involved as you heat this. And let me just add this is not a how-to or a tutorial. This is just a record of the, the days of Vinny's day off. If you do this you do it at your own risk alright. Because it's a pipe, obviously, it's going to be curved. So the first job is just to take that curved shape out of it. So we're just going to flatten it out and let it, let it uh, set as a flat strip. So I'll get back to you in a minute, all right? Right, so that's cooled down reasonably well. So now we have a nice flat strip to work with. I'm going to attach this like that. And 
Dos. Dos. So now we can screw this into place. I did think about gluing it, but I think the screws would be perfectly strong. This is not going to go anywhere. I'll put the other one in before we get too tight now. There we go. Right, now more heat and we'll bend it back. Okay, so I'm just going to bend it back here. Like that for a minute. This is not the finished product. I just want to show you something on the way. Okay, so I've just bent over the clip. You'd imagine that that might work. It won't work. But if you wanted this for waders or for perhaps for some kind of a jacket or pullover, then this, this might work for you. But let's see if you can see this. It won't, it won't go on, on the uh, PFD because the zip will strain it, okay? So what we need to do is we need to, it needs to come up, back, and then down, okay, to, to fit onto the zip. Now I found through trial and error that my pliers here is about the exact shape I want. So I'm going to reheat this and use this as a form. So I'm going to reheat this and I'll also give my pliers a little bit of a heat up. Let's see how this will go. So now, that's cooled and it's set pretty well and we have our space here. So we have our, our shape and space here to lock over the zip, okay? Now I'd like to put a little uh, upturn on the end here just to make it easier to clip on and off. So let's get that done. A little bit too hot there. Right, not too bad. So that's more or less finished. So just let's see, let's see how it works with the PFD. So we'll zip that up. I 
and it clips on pretty nicely. And our mount clips on pretty well as well. Okay. So to make it look a little nicer, I'm going to give it a bit of a spray paint with this here black paint. Right, so we'll leave that to dry and we'll see how it works, okay? Okay, let's put everything together. Here's our mount, finished. So we clip that on. And now the action camera. Right. So that's sitting there nicely. The question now is, does it work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's add water. Right, so here we're out of, we're off Helvig Head. We just left Helvig Head Harbour. A little bit choppy today. Not too bad though. So this is the PFD uh, action cam mount in operation, in action. Just give you a little look around. Oh man, this is lovely. As I say, you could use a head mount, but what I find is you keep you keep glancing at, at rocks or waves or whatever. You make these involuntary glances, so the footage looks like it's bouncing around the place. The chest mount is is a nicer view, I think. It gives you kind of a first-person view of what's going on. Oh man, this is nice. I'm going to head up here do a little bit of fishing. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of fishing. I've got one of my homemade hand lines here. Let's see if we can get a mackerel or two for lunch. We're in a little bit of shelter here. These are actually homemade feathers. That I've taken to making. I might show you how to make those someday. We'll try them out today and see if they work, eh? Oh, we got fish. Oh, got something hopefully a bit decent this time. Wow. Whoa. A big mackerel. Oh my god. These are good big guys. That's a decent mackerel.
Okay, so I just stopped for another bit of fishing. And we have two pollock. We'll let these guys go. I don't really like pollock. Okay, I was going to do a cook up, but there's no driftwood, there's no wood available in the usual spots. So, no cook up. I find this little mount works very well, but I, I just have to point out it's not for extreme kayaking, it's not for uh, whitewater kayaking or surfing or anything extreme because it'll fall off. And I didn't show it in the video, but you, I would strongly advise you get a piece of string or some kind of leash as a safety leash for it. But for sedate paddling and for maybe fishing, uh, touring, what have you, I find it works fairly well. I'm happy with it. it. Doesn't get in the way at all. Anyway, I'm going to head off home, guys. I hope it was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed some of the scenes. And thank you very much for watching. Bye bye from Vinny's Day Off.